Hello everyone. I'm. Ah, 始まってない。Uh, I'm Yuta Iwamoto. I chose the topic of tomato harvesting. Now let's start. This is outline of my presentation. First, I talk about tomato harvesting robot, and、uh, second, principle and structure. Third, issues for realization, and fourth, tomato harvesting robot commission in Japan. And last, I talk about con、uh, I talk conclusion. First,、uh, I introduce the tomato harvesting robot.、Uh, in the present, many people have been developing agricultural robot for increasing efficiency and decreasing cost. And about tomato too. Uh, many studies are going forward. Now, tomato harvesting robot has been developing,、uh, but it isn't practical yet. In Japan, it's mainly researched by Shimane University and Osaka Prefecture University. After the research has done, the robot likes this picture.、Uh, may work instead of human in the future. Next, I'll talk about fundamental structure of harvesting robot. The 3D vision sensor is used on、uh, the harvesting robot, and it scans fruits using a laser、uh, beam, having two、uh, different wavelengths to measure the 3D shape as well as to distinguish foliage and emanate fruit from red ripe fruit.、Yeah. It uses cold filter. This one, cold filter,、uh, to overlay a near infrared、uh, beam and a red laser beam. The light reflected by an object pass through、uh, a lens and forms an image on the photosensitive surface of the PSD. PSD is the、uh, position sensor. Uh, position sensitive device. The distance is calculated by uh, triangulation uh, based on current ratio between two arrows.、Uh, so we can calculate the distance using triangulation.、Mm, ah, sorry.、Uh, the emitted laser beam is blinking, and the receiver unit extracts only the blinking wavelength components, distinguishing them from the fixed light of the sun. When a laser beam with two different wavelengths is, is emitted, the PSD receives the light component of both wavelengths. The near infrared and red laser beams blink at different frequencies. As shown in、uh, this figure, foliage and fruits all reflect the、uh, near infrared laser beam well. But forage and emanate fruits have a low red laser beam reflectance. Red fruits are detected by the 3D image processing program based on this principle. This figure shows an example of the 3D vision sensor, which scans、uh, with near infrared and red laser beams. This unit is being used in research for multi multifunctional robot for tomato cultivation, which trains vines and defoliate as well as harvesting. The 3D vision sensor is attached to the end of the arm. On its own, the sensor is capable only of vertical scanning. Next, I'll show the result of the image processing. Cherry tomato fruits grow in clusters, as shown in the left figure. The center figure is a representation of pixels of the object、uh, located within a certain range. Based on a voltage differential between the near infrared and red light signals, pixels with greater and red values are shown as a white, and all others are shown gray. Third. I'll talk about issues for realization. 
many issues to be resolved. Uh, one, uh, work in narrow field. The field is crowded with fruits and stocks. They have to recognize the complex field and change light condition. They recognize the fruits by an reflected light, but when the field is little dark or well lighted, they have to do their jobs as usual. usual. And tomatoes with different positions and orientations. If a tomato uh, is hidden by other tomatoes or stalks, they have to find and harvest it. And harvest with carrots intact. It is not necessary, but when it's put on sale, it seems better. Harvest without damage, especially cuts and scratches. That's the same reason. And last, autonomous. It is uh, difficult uh, to be solved, but it's necessary for a month harvesting. Uh, competition to encourage practical development and solve the issues, Kyushu Institute of Technology holds the competition this year. They should seek the development of uh, correcting many ideas. And this is conclusion. Uh, further development and innovation will be from many people, including tomato farmers. After the tomato robot becomes practical, the next step will be a free autonomous plant factory. Uh, at the end of my presentation, I want to talk about why I chose this topic. My home prefecture is Kumamoto Prefecture, and it is the biggest tomato producer in Japan. So if tomato harvesting becomes autonomous, my prefecture will profit. And in the future, I want to work for my hometown. So I chose this topic because it may give me some hints. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Are there any questions? Thank you for your presentation. Uh, during the harvesting of tomatoes, sometimes there tends to be gathering together of tomatoes so that you can find uh, some tomatoes are hidden behind other tomatoes. So how I uh, how do you take good images to ensure that uh, when a training maybe a uh, algorithm or the robot, you are able to get uh, even the hidden tomatoes. Like sometimes there is one tomato here, another tomato behind it. So how are you able to get good images or good imaging positions so that you can be able to pick out all the tomatoes using the robot? I think uh, before harvesting, uh, the robot so sees the tomatoes image, and after the harvesting, uh, the robot have to check uh, uh, that all tomato is completely harvested. Now uh, that uh, maybe um, that solves the problem. I think.
Are there any questions in, in to you? You mean how can the robot catch uh, different size tomatoes? Or, uh, First question is how long does it take the robot to identify and then pick uh, uh, tomato? Um, how many seconds? How many minutes? Uh, it's not uh, not wrong distance because it uh, recognizes a tomato uh, by uh, some ranges that mm, so. uh, The question is how long it takes to have 30 seconds or 1 minute or more time necessary? How long times? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I didn't uh, see any movies of this robot, so I don't I don't know the times to harvest. The second question: There is a big one and there is a small one. Can the robot? Harvest different size fruit. Uh, so it is uh, so end effect program. So uh, if we uh, use uh, so changing changeable uh, end effect. Uh, we can take any size of tomato, I think. Does that answer your question? Okay, thank you.